In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the specification tree. The specification tree is an essential element in CATIA for organizing and controlling elements, models, features, etc. Clicking here expands and collapses the tree. Expanding my tree lets me see how the solid was created. By this I mean which feature was applied first, last, etc. When I drag my mouse over a feature, that feature on the solid model is highlighted. When I expand the specification tree, as you see, the items on our specification tree continue scrolling off of the edge of our screen. I can use the scroll bar to get up and down. I can also grab this white line here and reposition the tree. Or this line here. The shaded elements, like you see here, these are elements in hidden space. If I swap, I see the default planes and the sketch also. Let's swap back. I can activate Hide Show and click in the specification tree. You see that the plane appears right here. Let's do it again. Hide Show. Click on the plane icon in the specification tree and you see that the plane disappears. When I click on one of these white lines, you can see that the graphic becomes gray and I can't grab it. If I press and hold mouse buttons 1 and 2, I can zoom in and out on the specification tree. To make the graphic active again, click on one of the lines or on the default axis display. If I double click an element of the specification tree, for example, edge fillet, you can see that the edge fillet dialog window opens. Click cancel now. It's basically the same effect as if I clicked on the feature itself. This concludes our tutorial on the specification tree.